work for Rackspace. Going to be here talking to you about Pi V Mommy. This is an absolute beginner's guide to Pi V Mommy. Um, so let's get started. What is Pi V Mommy? I'm going to have to read off my slide here because uh, it's got a complicated name. It's basically it's the uh, SDK, the Python SDK for the vSphere SOAP API. And V Mommy is weird. Stands for VMware Managed Object Management Interface. I always have a hard time wrapping my tongue around that. But uh, anyway, there's, there's an open source version and a closed source version. And today I'm going to be kind of talking a little bit about both, but mostly the open source version. Uh, it was released by VMware back in December 2013 under the Apache license. There's also a closed source version that is, has been a part of their products since at least uh, vSphere 4, like you could log on to your ESX 4.0 hosts, and it's it's definitely on there. Um, and it may even be on older systems, but I'm I'm not exactly sure. Um, so, why would you want to use Pi V Mommy versus anything else? Well, personally, I think Python is a pretty easy language for beginners to pick up. Um, it comes in very handy if you're on a team with. Windows, Linux, Mac users, um, you, can, you should be able to just write your uh, code in Python, and then it works on all the developers' machines versus if you've got a, um, a team that's mixed like that and you've decided on PowerShell, everybody's going to need to have a Windows box and access to Windows and write their code on Windows. So this kind of gives you more of a write once, run anywhere kind of a, kind of a platform. Another good reason for uh, Python and, and Pi vMommy would be that it integrates with a lot of popular uh, config management tools like SaltStack or Ansible. Ah. So let's dive right in. How do you get started? Well, you're, you're going to have to have Python, very first thing. So I say go with, uh, with 2.7. Pi vMommy is allegedly supported on 2.7, 2.6, and the 3.x platform. Uh, I've had best results with 2.7, uh, but, but you should be able to use it on others. And uh, I know for sure it works on, on the 2.6. We've got that packaged for, uh, for Red Hat in the uh, Apple, Apple repository, so it should work on 2.6 just fine. Um, I say follow a nice guide on getting Python installed on the internet. There's tons of them out there. Find one appropriate for your platform. Next, make sure that that guide uses virtual environment. Virtual environment I find uh, to be very useful. Um, let you kind of create a, a virtual machine of sorts for your Python development. Right? It's a, an isolated little environment that has all your Python packages in it. So if you mess something up, you can just delete a directory and it's all gone. Hasn't messed with your global Python at all. Uh, it's optional, but it's, it's definitely a best practice to, to go with something like that. Um, next, for a lot of new people, they want to they wanna use an, an, an IDE, right? Because it, it, they think it's going to help them code better or, or whatever. But the problem is PyVMommy is dynamically generated on the fly. And so the IntelliSense that a lot of people think they're going to get with, you know, type in virtual machine dot uh, and then hoping that reboot or resize or all these other options show up, those don't work uh, with Pi vMommy because of the fact it's dynamically generated. And so you don't get that IntelliSense. So just grab, you know, a, a Notepad Plus or, you know, some basic text editor just to get started with. Um, be a lot easier than dealing with some kind of uh, IDE right off the bat. So once you have all those things installed, all you need to do is create your virtual environment, activate your virtual environment, which you'll get from that tutorial. So virtual ENV, the name of your virtual environment. Then to activate it, you just source and uh, source the uh, activation file that comes in your virtual environment. Next, you're going to pip install Pi vMommy. Very simple, pip install Pi vMommy, and it'll get you the latest version of the Pi vMommy code. Once you've got it installed, you're ready to start coding. 
And so my advice is to go to the Pi V Mommy community samples GitHub page, and we have uh, pretty close to 100 examples at this point of reboot VM, resize VM, deploy from OVF, uh, take snapshot, delete snapshot. There's lots of little examples to get you started and help you get on your way. It's a great resource. So um, the next thing would probably be docs. Where do you find docs for this? Well, we have docs in the project, but a secret on those docs, all it is is we've parsed the uh, SOAP docs and made RST docs to make it a little more Python-y looking. But the truth of the matter is, Pi v Mommy is just a very tight wrapper around the SOAP SDK anyway. So it's easier to just start with the SOAP documentation and just kind of read through it. Um, if you get stuck, you can, you can go for help. So where do you go for help if you get stuck? Well, you can open a GitHub issue. And you can, you can pick your project. If you want to open it on the Pi v Mommy community samples, open it there. If you want to open it on the Pi v Mommy page itself, that's fine too. Just open your issue, ask your question. Someone will come along eventually and answer it. You can go to Stack Overflow, ask your question there, tag it with Pi v Mommy. I'm pretty active on the uh, Pi v Mommy threads or whatever on Stack Overflow. It takes a little time, but at least once or twice a week I go in and just answer all the unanswered questions on, uh, on Pi v Mommy. You can also go to IRC. We have a pretty fairly active uh, IRC channel on Freenode. Just join pound Pi v Mommy. And if you're not into any of those things and you want a mailing list, we've got that too. So just hit up the nabble.com uh, mailing list, ask your question, and you know eventually we'll get get that thing answered. So thanks, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy Pi v Mommy. If you have questions, please ask. Join the community. You know, we can't do it without you. So thank you. <laughs>